Greetings, everybody. Uh, there's a what they call a ransomware attack on a company that has a pipeline. They supply 45% of the uh, gasoline to the eastern part of the United States. I the uh, I forget what agency the U.S. Uh, called it a state of emergency. It's like Florida, Alabama. Uh, New York, uh, I forget all the states, but there's like 13 states that are under a state of emergency. So I strongly recommend go to the gas station and fill up your car with gasoline. Doesn't matter, regular or uh, premium, whatever, whatever it costs. I just put, uh, I just noticed gal uh, gasoline went up. Uh, let's see, probably a dollar in the last few weeks, maybe a month, maybe two months. But uh, I just spent 20 bucks on uh, five gallons of premium. We might be running out. I wonder if this is like a scare tactic to get everybody interested in buying electric cars. But uh, the thing is, our, all our infrastructure works on computers now. I mean, I worked in water treatment for a number of years, and before they did the before we had computers, uh, when you wanted a pump on, you'd go outside and you'd turn the pump on. I mean, you'd flick a switch, you know, and then ring. <laughs> and when you wanted it off, you'd get out of the chair and you go out and turn it off, you know. And they had level indicators, uh, manual level indicators. No, you'd fill the tank up. I, you know, it's just unbelievable. Everything's computers now. So the electric infrastructures run on computers. The water infrastructures run on computers. Uh, you know, the pipelines for the gasoline and everything else. It's all run on computers. I find it funny that the uh, bill, the uh, gates of hell, uh, can't keep a virus off your computer but uh, he's an expert on medical uh, stuff, you know. Yeah, wants us all to get uh, taken care of with uh, his little, uh, you know, shot in the arm, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, he can't keep the viruses off the computer, but uh, yeah, he's worried about us being healthy. So, uh, another thing, too, just remember something. All the computers with Intel chips, you know, you always see that commercial Intel inside. Guess where they're made? Not in China, not in the U.S. No, they're made over in the Middle East, that little state. You know, the is, is, Ray, and Lies state. And they're the ones that uh, make the chips. And I've known, now I was in computer science back in the... 80s. I studied computers, took a number of classes in them, and I've tried to keep up with it, you know, but uh, all I know is every computer has a back door. The U.S. government mandated that happen. And we, uh, I think anybody that's listened to me for a while knows who is in, com in behind the U.S. government. Uh, yeah, they're they're the ones that make the chips, the uh, central processing units, the S Intel chips. They all have a back door, so that's why uh, ransomware. What they do, um, I should explain it to you. Ransomware, they they hack into your computer, and then what they do is they encrypt your files or they uh, compact them like a zip file, and you got to have a password to undo this. Without the password, you're out of luck. And uh, guess what? They'll say, hey, you pay us X number of dollars or we're not going to do it. Of course, if you pay, there is no guarantee they'll give you the password to undo your files. And of course, they can do it again. But this has been happening to schools. This has been happening to water plants, uh, hospitals. I'll guarantee I know who's doing it. 
I know exactly who's doing this because you got to have a, 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 a certain amount of expertise to get into the computer system. Of course, if you got a back door, it makes it so much easier, you know. But uh, yeah, everybody thinks, oh yeah, well, I've got encryption and I've got, you know, a firewall and I got, you know, all this antivirus stuff and blah, blah, blah. You know, it doesn't matter. They got a back door. So, but uh, this pipeline thing where they, you know, shut off the pipeline and they're telling them, hey, you pay up or you're going to have to buy all new computers and get it all installed. Uh, maybe that's a thing to get us to buy electric cars. I don't know. Get everybody thinking, hey, maybe I should get an electric car. But the electric infrastructure is the same thing. So, you know. So uh, when the you-know-whos decide that they're going to shut down the U.S., they can shut off the water, they can shut off the electric, the telephones, the Internet, everything. And, when, and if and if that ever happens, look out, because that's when they're going to collect uh, the patriots and the Christians, especially. They got a place for you. Yeah. And I keep hearing all the new cars, have, they got ways to shut them off. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do have a way to shut off all the new cars. Um, somebody had a new car and they were behind on their payments and the bank had them shut the car off. Oh, you're not going to pay for your car? Well, you ain't going to use it. And he, they were on the interstate, and they just, you know, luckily they were able to pull off to the side of the road. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> you know, the car's stuck in the middle of the interstate. You know, that's a dangerous situation right there, dog. Let me tell you. So, uh, yeah, just thought I would mention that, you know. So get your car filled up while you still can. You know, maybe some gas cans. I don't know. Um uh, I never, I never let my car get under half. I mean, almost never. So I've been telling everybody, fill up. Um, so, yeah, what can I tell you? I'm sure the gates of hell uh, made sure that uh, his uh, operating system has an, a, a back door also. So... Yeah, just remember that. He can't keep viruses off the computer, but uh, he wants to make sure that you don't have a virus, right? Yeah. I, I don't remember electing him. And uh, he ought to be arrested for practicing medicine without a license. What do you say? What do you say? What med school did he graduate from? And just remember something. He's a, he's a Rockefeller heir or cousin. You know how you spell cousin? C-O-U-S-I-N. Cousin. Yeah, that's how you spell cousin. He's a he's a Rockefeller cousin. So keep that in mind. So alrighty. Uh all glory to Christ. And oh, by the way, when all those uh things shut down, if it ever happens, you know there's gonna be riots. So be ready. And uh, I remember, I think it was in the 70s, uh, some power transformers clicked off. It was like in the middle of the summer, and everybody's running the ACs, and the power grid was just overheating. And a couple of circuit breakers popped off, and then it was just a chain reaction. The other circuit breakers couldn't handle the extra load, and they kicked off. Next thing you know, New York City was, uh, parts of New York City were dark. And uh, our uh, our friends with B, and then the LM, yeah, those uh, they rioted and looted. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's what usually happens when the power goes out: rioting and looting. So, and just remember something: if they don't have power, you can't run the computers. Uh, how are you going to get the trucks with the food in here, right? So, I know, I'm always full of good news, aren't I? 
Well, except for Jesus and the gospel, that's the only good news of this world. So, all right, all glory to Jesus. Amen.